Hey, it's Heath Mulligan here at the International Wrestling Youth Convention in Indianapolis, Indiana, fall of 2015. I am here with just absolutely some of the best folks in the world, uh, Travis Ward and Emma Ward and Autumn Ward. They are the youth pastors at Hayworth Wesleyan Church in High Point, North Carolina. And uh, Travis, I went to Southern Wesleyan with Travis and Autumn. Uh, Travis, you grew up coming to these conventions. How did they impact your life? And what does it mean to you now to be a youth pastor bringing your own group? Uh, my first one was Nashville 88. Uh, I was an eighth grader uh, taking my first trip with my youth group and it happened to be uh, a youth convention. And I can remember the challenges uh, that uh, the speakers delivered, um, accepting those challenges. Yeah. Uh, I remember uh, the last night we all walked down to the stage to give back something that was uh, uh, holding us back with our spiritual walk. And I remember I had uh, received, um, this is I'm dating myself, a Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction cassette tape. And I remember placing that on the stage of the Grand Ole Offrey because I wanted to uh, give it up. I felt like Guns N' Roses was holding me back. Uh, I remember going to a uh, convention in 90 in Charlotte, uh, Isaiah 6. Uh, and being challenged to go on a short term missions trip and accept them to call into full time ministry. I went to Gatlinburg in 92, went back to Cincinnati in 94, took a break, and then we started picking them up back in 01 uh, when they were in Orlando as sponsors. Yeah. Um, I, I remember sitting by the pool in 01 with you and uh, Wes Boyd, man. Those were good times. Those were the best of times. Yeah. Uh, sitting reminiscing. Uh, those few lost years in between yeah. uh, what had taken place. But uh, youth conferences are very important to me. I told my group last night that uh, uh, I would do anything to get them here. This is why we push. It's because just through those small illustrations of what it did to me, yeah. uh, my calling to ministry, my being challenged to become more uh, of a Christian, a better walk to uh, live my faith, yeah. I believe they could come and to accept those same challenges also. And so that's why we push uh, conventions, camps. Also, it breaks the monotony of yeah. youth group and you get to experience a whole lot more yeah. in a different setting that you may not be able to do on a localized level. Yeah. So that's why I try to get as many kids, youth, teens, sponsors, adults we can here. So. Yeah. Now, Autumn, you are as active in the youth ministry as any wife that I've ever met, and I just I admire that so much. What's it like for you to bring a group of kids to something like this, especially being a parent of one of those teams? Well, the parent part is difficult, but but as far as being our group, we um, started out Hayworth over a year ago, and it was a small group, and so we've grown, and we were able to bring 24 girls and 10 boys, and so we just feel blessed by that, and. My role is a little bit different this time because I'm really the only female sponsor. And so we just feel blessed. We feel like Lord's really blessed us in the last year. And there's really no other place I'd rather be. We, I took a week off with no pay to come so I could be a part and see these kids grow. So Now, I mentioned that you guys, this is your daughter, Emma, and then your son, Thor, a.k.a. Levi, <laughs> is, it, is at home. Uh, but you guys have just experienced just something incredible uh, with Emma. Travis, just talk a little bit about that. And then, Emma, I would just love to hear from you. What's it like for you to be here at this event with your mom and dad? Uh, the abridged version is January 16th. Uh, Emma had two uh, grand mal seizures um, through uh, CAT scans. They found she had an abnormality on the brain. Uh, MRI pointed out that it looked like what would be known as a ganglia glioma tumor uh, on her temporal lobe. Uh, she went to the hospital. Um, they sent her home because of it being a holiday weekend. And in the process, we were able to research and realize that the best hospital in North Carolina to get her to was uh, Duke Children's Hospital. Yeah. And uh, on a whim, we made some calls shooting in the dark and 30 minutes after speaking with a receptionist, uh, the uh, uh, pediatric brain oncologist from Duke Children's was giving us a call. Wow. And uh, the process was he got us a appointment that following Tuesday, 
and uh, she was admitted Tuesday night. Uh, she had uh, brain surgery on Wednesday, a uh, six hour procedure, wow. uh, probably eight total with recovery. Um, she was supposed to spend 24 to 48 hours in intensive care. She was out after 12. Hmm. Uh, she was supposed to stay in the hospital a week. We were headed home on Saturday. Uh, she uh, was more determined than any adult I've ever seen that she was not going to stay. And the most impressive thing is generally nurses will you out. Uh, she told the nurse she wasn't going to ride a wheelchair. She was oh, going to walk awesome. out. That's and awesome. And so uh, she walked out. She only missed about two weeks of school. Are you serious? Well, oh, she went back goodness. on a limited <laughs> yeah. schedule. And this was after having major brain surgery uh, to remove a tumor. Uh, we went to three month checkups. They said, we don't need to see you. But every six months, uh, we went December 21st, 22nd, and she has a clean bill of health. Wow. Able to do anything and everything she wants to do. And uh, God has been good. He was in the background moving pieces around oh, yeah. uh, before we even saw what was taking place. He was lining up uh, uh, doctors that we didn't even know were there. Uh, he knew what was best when we didn't know what was going on. And yeah. so we give him all the credit because uh, there's so many stories of uh, just being so close to the stained glass, not seeing the picture, but stepping away after it all happened and saying, yeah. there you were, God. Yeah. yeah. So, Emma, uh, it was incredible to watch over Facebook. Everybody just come around you. Prayers for Emma, your your volleyball team. So what's it like? What, what's it been like for you? And what's it like? Is, do you just feel like this is kind of like the cherry on top to be here at this? Yeah, because I'm very thankful for my youth group and my parents that supported me all the way through. Yeah. What's been your favorite thing at the convention so far? Probably the youth group time. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, where can people, um, I know that there were websites set up, I mean, like just to kind of see the story. You need, this is what you need to do. I pulled the camera again. We got to get everybody back on here. Okay. <laughs> this is live. So you need to go on Facebook. And follow these guys, Autumn Ward, Travis Ward. Are you on Facebook, Emma? Instagram. 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 Because just to hear their story, like they're well, we coming have up. have a Prayers for Emma page. Yes. Her own page. That's, okay, prayers that's what, Emma. so, all right, yeah. so what is that again? It's Prayers for Emma, but it's Emma Strong is what it is. Hashtag Emma Strong. So. Hashtag Emma. So we're coming up on a year. Clean bill of health. The worship is starting here this morning. Just, I had not heard. Dude, the thing about the wheelchair. That's like, I ain't going. Dude, that's awesome. Have you thought about wrestling? Because that no. would be great. <laughs> no. Hey, listen, I just want you guys to know. Hey, first of all, thanks. Not Thank everybody you. likes You're being welcome. interviewed. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for going through this in a public way that has allowed. Like, my church will watch this, and we prayed for you guys in services. And so just, just an amazing thing. Uh, if you're watching this either on YouTube or Facebook, like I said, you need to go and find these guys. You need to look up Hayworth Wesleyan Church. You need to look up Prayers for Emma. You need to use the hashtag Emma Strong. Uh, this this is what it's all about. This is this is not this is life, but when it all comes together, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. And we have to give out a shout out to Greg Eggman's his brother. What's it, Jason? Yeah. His uh, daughter had a very tragic situation. And when we were all in the midst of struggle of trying to figure out what was going on, they are the ones that directed us to Duke and to the doctor. And so we just are very blessed to have them as a part of our family now to be able to show us Emma and have Emma here and lead us in the right direction. So we really appreciate that family for going beyond their struggle to try to help us. So. And also, if I yeah. could say, we don't want to stand up here and act like. Uh, we had it all together because we didn't. Uh, right. Uh, but uh, there was a peace yeah. uh, that we can only explain by having a relationship with Jesus. To know that he was ultimately in control yeah. and ultimately had everything in the palm of his hands. There was tears, a lot of tears. There was emotion. Uh, but there was uh, this calming presence yeah. of the fact that Jesus was present and so I, we just want to share that too i mean we're human we're uh yeah. we went through struggles uh 
and questioning, but we never doubted. And so yeah. we just want to be able to share that as a witness too. Uh, awesome. If you're going through a struggle, uh, it might not be a, something as major as what Emma had with her surgery. It could be a stubbed toe. If you know Jesus, there should be peace with yeah. that stubbed toe, yeah. with that yeah. tragedy. Hey, so before I let you go, tell me about uh, the t-shirts. Uh, we uh, wanted to create an identity for ourselves. Yeah. Um, Apex Student Ministries. We uh, kind of uh, hem hauled around for a year. We didn't just want to run in because yeah. we wanted something. And uh, after uh, trial and error, we came across uh, Apex. We live in High Point, which is in Guilford County, North Carolina. And High Point is named because it's the highest point in Guilford County. Ah. So we went with the theme of Apex being the highest point of an object, such as a mountain range, uh, a building, yeah. whatnot. So we uh, uh, went with Apex Student Ministries uh, to talk about our town, but then also talk about what we're about, which you know, we're constantly trying to reach higher. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I want to close with this. Congratulations to Travis, who beat me in the League of Heroes fantasy football uh, losers bracket. We were both in the losers bracket. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's quite all right because what happened, everyone out there, if I may be as honest as I can, Heath approached me and said, I'm giving you this sorry, terrible it, team. Hey, and he and they said, I want to see what kind of magic you can perform. He did not realize he was giving me – or talking to the fantasy football guru, <laughs> and I had to lay the smack down across him not once but twice throughout the season. And if for some chance of faith, I would have been in the championship game with this sorry team that he gave me. He did not understand my management abilities, and now he knows next year going in, he better bring his A++ game. Well, Thank you, America. It's, it's funny. Your team name was uh, Sweep the Leg, and I'm wearing a Mr. Miyagi shirt right now. So when you put in Sweep the Leg, I said, hey, I've made a good as, – as the greatest commissioner in fantasy sports, I made – a wise decision in bringing well, thank you, you in. sir. Thank and you. I've also made a wise decision by having these folks on. Uh, like I said, if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, uh, or if you're listening to this on the Ground Soil podcast, this is a podcast where we're trying to change church and culture one conversation at a time. That's what these guys are doing in High Point with their youth ministry. That's what they're doing throughout the world with uh, Emma Strong. And, uh, hey, for Autumn and Travis and Emma, this is Heath Mulliken, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.